Hi guys, it's Amy. Today I'm going to show you how to reset your golf muscles after a round of golf. I have a foam roller here handy. Tour players always reset their body at the end of every day. That way their muscles are relaxed for the good night's sleep. And that way the next day they're able to hit even better shots. Let's get started. Let's start on your back first. We're just going to make gentle rolls up and down just to get your spine vertebrae moving. It's actually very important to roll out your muscles, especially before your bedtime, because if you have tightness and you don't take care of it right away, it could take longer time to heal. If you find a spot where it hurts the most, let's stay there for a sec. Actually helps to get that knot out. Let's switch into the lats. My right side hurts a lot. It must be an exercise I did yesterday. I couldn't even roll up and down on this side, so I decided to do my best and just really stay where it hurts the most. I wonder how much it hurts on the other side. <laughs> After a while, it actually starts to feel a lot better. That's why I'm able to tough it out because there's immediate feedback. All right, let's switch sides. Roll up and down your lats. This side isn't as sore as the right side, but still find a spot that hurts the most and stay there for a sec. All right, now we're gonna go into the lower body. We're gonna go in this order. We're gonna start on the right side, glutes, side of your hip, IT band, quads, inner thigh, hamstring, and calf. We're gonna do five rolls per spot. Do your best to relax your muscle when you roll. This is really going to help get those muscles rolled out. I usually end up putting most of the pressure in my hands that helps to relax the part of the muscle I'm rolling. Same thing here, if there's a spot that hurts, let's go ahead and take a pause until it gets a little bit better. With the hamstrings, I never really feel anything, um, so that's a good thing. My calves hurt actually a lot, so when they hurt too much, I usually don't put my left foot on top because that just adds pressure. But today I was okay in my calves. Let's switch sides. We'll do the same thing, except we'll just work our way up. Same thing on this side. I don't feel much in my hamstring, but I still do it anyways, just to make sure nothing hurts in there. One side of the body will hurt more than the other. Um, usually it's my right side in the lower body that hurts more, but it varies depending on what kind of exercises I've done and my body condition and my golf swing for the day. <laughs> really do your best to relax the muscles that you're rolling out. Inner thigh, when you do this one, it looks kind of funny, but it actually feels great. Golf requires so much stability in the lower body and so much rotation. It's really important to do maintenance work on your lower body.
All right, now I've hit every part of the lower body. Let's finish with a few rolls on the back. It's usually mid back or upper back that hurts the most for me. So I tend to stay at a spot where it hurts the most. And really get those muscles massaged, moving, and happy. A few rolls on the back. How did it go, guys? There are major kinds of foam rollers. This one was plastic, it actually was super dense. But the one I usually use is a black foam roller, which is a lot softer in density compared to this one. If you're new to foam rolling, you probably want to get something that's not super hard. To recap, we started with the back first and then we went into the lats, switch sides, and then went thoroughly in the lower body. Seven different spots, glutes, side of your hip, IT band, quad, inner thigh, hamstring, and calves. Try this routine before your bedtime you're really going to have a great night's sleep and the next day you'll be able to hit great shots and also score lower. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.